What's up, everybody? Hello, hello, hello. We're going to be harping Central Oklahoma this week. Yeah, we're going to see what we can turn up. We have a couple gold species, so we need to check off in our local counties and just stay tuned. We are out here herping in the rain, trying to get a baby Nerodia. We need 50 subs. Yeah, we need someone. Get, we need to get 50 subs. I'm so happy. I've never even thought that we would get 50 within like the first month. But uh, yeah, uh, just out here herping in the rain, hoping to get a baby Nerodia or anything. We'll see. We just got a Midland rat. Massive Midland. Under this log. Oh. He a bitey boy? Oh. Bitey boy? Awesome. Thick Midland. This is a thick Midland. I'll let him go back under his... uh. Thing. We flipped a cow patty and we got another <laughs> snake. A poop flip. A ring neck. I bet there's something under here. I know. Here, here. Alright, alright. Get this one. Are you kidding me? This is more than we thought. Maybe all rain of maybe rain flipping is oh there's a huge spider. Maybe rain flipping is godly. Maybe rain flipping is. We've never really herped in the rain before. Awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna start filming now because we saw nothing. Oh it's starting to pick up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Of course we're not filming the sucky flip because they look sucky. Buddy. And then they have snakes under them. <laughs> Oh, I also flipped a ribbon under under a rock, deep in shed. Um, western ribbon snake, not pretty. In the middle of a rainstorm. In the middle of a rainstorm. So we're gonna go keep flipping. And we're in an abandoned farmhouse right now. We're keep out of the rain. Yep. Yeah. Get a photo and uh, let him go. We got a big old ringer, probably the Huge biggest ringer. ringer I've ever seen here, along with a ribbon snake, first one ever in this neighborhood. No, no, first one flipped. In this first one flipped in this neighborhood, I guess. My phone is getting drenched, so I'm gonna have to stop filming here in a second. Yeah. But yeah. Flipped another ringer. Great. And there's another one that dove under there, but this is like snake out. number six or something. Yeah. It's, in the rain. It's kind of an insane. There's one and there's another one in the back there. Uh ringers are super common in this neighborhood, so we're not even gonna bother getting them out. Well, we just caught a baby, little baby erythrogaster. Awesome. These things are so cute and they're so pretty when they're younger. Pretty that snake is. Well, he just had a big meal. I don't know what the heck he ate, but <laughs> he ate something but maybe another snake. Or a big frog. Or a big Fish. Still really awesome find. Love these guys. I n almost rarely see baby Nerodia, so that's really cool. Dairy cows on an abandoned farm. Hi. There's some egrets next to them. All right, first boxy of the day. Not the species we want, but I love these guys nevertheless. We just found probably the prettiest American toad I've ever seen up to this date. Is under those. Boards right there. We're in the middle of the woods right now. We're about to go look around a lake for a baby snapping turtle. We'll keep you updated. Red eared slider. That is not that big. This oh, is mind. a big red eared. Okay. This is the biggest one I've caught all year. Hi, buddy. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. It might not be the most exciting find, but we just got a baby Nerodia and we've been walking around for hours and hours and found nothing else. So, content. Look at this boy. Little red eared. Pretty. 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 Look at that head. Uh oh. Big old female box turtle. Probably the biggest one I've found yet this year. Pretty big. You guys might not be able to see the size. Looks like a male, but it's definitely not. Are you gonna come out of your shell? Nope, all right, off you go. Are you missing a limb? No, you're not. Looks like a gopher tortoise, my God. I caught him for Bro, we just got, <laughs> we just got a, we just got a racer. We just got a yellow belly racer. Lifer, ah. Say thanks to Keaton. Thank you, one. Keaton. He was right there. Under what? Was he under that rock? Yep, yeah, first rock. First flip. Oh, first slip of the first day. First slip of Ow! the day. Did he bite you? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's so excited, man. This started the next week after the hoggy and glass lizard. Starting off strong with this beautiful adult yellow belly racer. Life a racer of any kind for me. What? Here, get get these ones. Get these ones. All right, so since we got our, our goal of coming here, we are now going to go scan the edges for rough green snakes, which is... One of, if not my very favorite, non-venomous Oklahoma snake. It just looks so exotic. So cool. They are super easy to find here. If we go and we don't find one, I'll be quite surprised. This is also the only spot in Oklahoma I've ever found them. So it's keep you updated. It's the spot where they are. All right, at last. I knew see, we wouldn't come it? out. Do, you see, do you see it? Do you see it? This is a really easy one to see. All right. No, let me grab it. What? Okay. This is a huge man. You better not lose that. Look how big this one is. Oh, he's chunky. He's actually not that big. All right, well, here's another look. Here's another look at the racer from uh, yesterday. He's kind of chilled out a little bit. 
Well, well, maybe not, but hey, he's super bitey. I think we're just gonna take advantage of the uh, photos and um, then let him go. He's, he's, you can kind of see with this better lighting, he's more green than he is. Yeah. He's like a green gray with a little tinge mm -hmm. of blue. That's, uh, that's, that's one kind of racer done in Oklahoma. We got one more subspecies, Southern Black Racer, and we're heading east on Saturday, so hoping to see one of those. Brief interjection to explain Owen's absolute stupidity. The fool failed to get any more footage of the rough green, so I have this footage of the one I have as a, what you might say, a pet. <laughs> well, deal with it. We're still making the best content you will ever watch. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Love you, fans. Goodbye. We're actually going to go herping in Arcadia today. Hoping to get uh, Coach Whoops our main goal. Hopefully another hog nose. And, I don't know, Nerodia probably. That's it. All right, everybody, we're here at Arcadia back again today. We're looking for a hognose snake, uh, even though we doubt we're going to find one, but we just flipped a Midland. Um, we usually don't flip a lot of fossorial snakes here, so we've only ever flipped one ringneck. They're usually just out in the crawl, so we're going to let this guy go. It is quite sad, but there's not... The flippables here are just kind of, I don't know, unproductive, usually. Since I had to catch the water snake last time, Owen's going to get it today. I'm gonna fail. Gonna if you fail, I'm gonna laugh in your face, and it'll prove that I'm a, I'm better at I'm catching stuff. Try. I'm just gonna... No, you try. You get it. You get it. You have to get it. Okay, that was. <laughs> Don't fling it around. <laughs> it's not gonna bite you. Oh, he bit me. That is a big plant belly. Here, pass it up to me. Oh, he's pooping everywhere. Exactly. Ah! I dropped him. <laughs> oh, what a godly cat. <laughs> that was i'm not sure if i got that on camera but his poop was just flying everywhere <laughs> Ugh, he smells so bad that's a different one it's way bigger see how blotched that pine belly is let's right. get up here and film it oh just a little grumpy he's actually less bitey than the racer was i don't personally care for nerodia that much but this, this is a pretty pine belly though you, you have to admit, look how blotched it is whatever all right i'm gonna get in and take some photos time to let plain belly friend go Are you filming it correctly I am filming it correctly. Owen doesn't care about this snake, but I do. I care Owen. about you. Oh, he went. There he goes. Look what we found. He's so cute. Oh. He's so cute. All right. Goodbye. You're All right. So not the most interesting of finds. I sure do like the baby Nerodia a lot more than I like the adults, though. They're prettier. They're a lot prettier. This guy is also in shed, sadly. Love these uh, little plane bellies. All right. This is a place where we have historically found a copperhead. It was sitting, sitting right here. It's been a little while since we've seen anything, probably 45 minutes since we got the little baby water snake. We've just been walking around, so we're going to take a little break and then go back out. Well, my friends, we got the coach. It was a coach. We saw a lot of water snakes in shed. It's a big coach. It's in shed. It's not that big. Sadly, he's in shed. No, I'll get him. Here, just stop filming. Just stop filming. All right, so this is an eastern coach whip. He might be the most ugly coach whip I I've ever seen. I've caught the pink one in West Texas about a month back, and then I got another one in East Texas that was about this color, but it was a lot more gray, and uh, he had way prettier scales. So they're called coach whips because, I mean, it's like one of those old Western. Yeah. <laughs> we thought it was a rat snake at first. Because it's we, so we dark. About, we were here about 10 minutes ago, and we saw its tail go under, and we thought it was a rat, but then we thought it was a little fast for a rat snake. But, uh, yeah, he's really dark. Getting into the shed cycle with the blue eyes, glazed yeah. over eyes. Um, this is the last species of snake that we needed to see here at, here at Arcadia. Uh, we found every other species here, so that's really awesome. Um, we The one snake we haven't seen at Arcadia, but we have seen in Oklahoma, is the speckled king. And the racer. And the racer. racer. So we're going to try to find a speckled king and a racer down to quarry down mm. there. But awesome. I was hoping we could, this is our goal for today. Yeah. Um, this is a lifer for me, not for Owen. I love these snakes. They're so fun. Well, here's that coach whip. We're about to release him. He's not really cooperating for photos. We're going to do the best that we can. But he is being a pain in the butt. Oh, dude. He's just all curled up for photos now. All right, let go. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Race! Coach whip! That's so satisfying, bro. All right, I think we're just gonna leave this guy right here. This has been the most cooperative coach whip. I know. All right, let's go. All righty, um, we've been out here since about 1.30. We're gonna try to, we're gonna probably head back home now. We saw some more Nerodia, but we didn't bother filming because they all got away. Um, I think we're just gonna head home. So I would say it's a successful day. We're gonna stay tuned. Maybe we'll see something cool on the way out. All right, that was a great couple of days of herping. I really enjoyed it, especially that coach whip. That was really cool. 
Um, I'm actually in bed right now because I'm exhausted. And tomorrow I'm going to see if I can get a uh, map turtle and Diamondback water snakes. So those are our main goals for tomorrow. That's my bearded dragon right there. And yeah, thanks for watching.